you guys are not gonna believe this um, if you watch the update video for April 28th the one in which I describe uh, the coming day um, which is today which is April 28th 1945 um, I mentioned there that I thought I thought I had seen the Russians switch out a division on the Mordka bridge and sure enough that's what happened so here we are check out this map uh, because they switched out they lost the uh, victory locations they once held so all these are now neutral split half and half uh, and they're coming again from the northeast. Um, so this was just an absolute uh, miracle because <laughs> we were down to the last victory location about to get wiped out. So I'm going to stick with my plan. I'm going to hold back in here. I'm not even going to try to take any of this stuff because I'm just going to get rocked. Uh, so I'm going to play it safe. What I am going to do is I'm going to send these two Panzer Shrek Troop, which are absolutely useless to me and send them over the bridge to take up a position in here again uh, I'm gonna do that so I can get a visual on their movements and um, yeah just kinda you know do some reconnaissance from their side other than that I have exhausted basically all my grenadiers and so I don't know if you guys can believe this but I actually have eight eight platoon leaders in action here um, if you guys can look in within all this crowd you'll see one two three four five six seven eight so I have eight <laughs> platoon leaders so again risky because uh, when they're killed the morale goes extremely uh, down really quickly but they're the best of the best they're the most fanatical the most experienced and the most intelligent so I kinda have to do this well I have no choice because I'm out of men so I'm gonna have to use them and uh, let's see how we hold on. So let's go, let's conquer, let's let's go get some. So here's my two pounds of Shagger Troop. You can see the routes I've uh, laid out for them with the shift key. Boom, boom, boom. Sending this guy out there to take a position in here. This one's sort of a similar thing. He's going to get a little bit closer to the edge of this building. This uh, scout unit, I'm going to put him on the edge here to do some scouting. Um, I may even send them out here. That's possible. Here are their troops, and they're gonna extreme. They're gonna move extremely fast to occupy this one, this one, and this one. They always do that. Those bastards. <sighs> so we're not gonna get too much of a break here. It might be um, a day, maybe half a day, if that. Uh, this is the morning of April 28th and I have a feeling that after the morning they would have uh, retaken everything they've lost at least this half of the map maybe not so much up here we're gonna find out but uh, I'm gonna stay on this view because we're gonna watch as these victory locations switch over to the communist star and here are my guys running like I told them to and we're just gonna wait here we're just gonna wait so it was, a, it was just like I said a miracle because I was a hundred percent sure that today was gonna be the last day for this division on this map but luckily uh, stupid Stalin decided to switch it out and good for us because we survived so let's check him is he in position no he's not these guys must be fatigued by now and if you notice when I hit spacebar to uh, look at their field of influence you see that these guys have something around them these guys have none <laughs> because like I said they're high school kids they don't know what the hell's going on they've been dragged and forced into the war but that's what you have to do and they're winded now but doesn't matter because they reached their position that's good
Okay, they're in position. We'll put them on ambush. Give them a little break. Same with these guys. And how's the scout? He's okay. Everyone else lined up against the edge. Pl Grenadier, platoon leader, platoon leader, platoon leader, platoon leader, Grenadier, <laughs> platoon leader, platoon leader. <laughs> so here's my army of platoon leaders. Um, let's see what they decide to do. So far, they haven't taken him yet. And this street must be absolutely filled. It's just jam-packed with Russian bodies. Uh, what, what did I just see here? There was something here. Because I have just murdered them. Destroyed them. Killed them. <laughs> right here on this crossing. T-34 making the move. Here's the recon vehicle. It's going to be a little problematic because you see that? It's an obstacle that I can't shoot over. So that's why I moved up this uh, scout mortar a little bit forward. So I can shoot there. Okay, are these guys rusted? Yeah, almost. They're getting there. T-34. Just finished crossing this uh, railroad track. Okay, let's uh, move. My Panzer Shrek right here. So I can get a shot on this bridge. Infantry going for the rail station. What? Okay. I was just looking at the terrain. It's uh some grassy fields. Oh, perfect! Right here, he's excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, now take up an ambush, ambush position right there, and you stay there. You stay there. And let me go back up here. I see troops here, but nothing has been taken. So we're just going to wait. So April 27th and the morning of April 28th looked like they're sort of some of the quieter times that we've experienced um, at least recently there's been some tactics, some maneuvers and uh... yeah it's okay though, like I said before war is not always non-stop action there's little interludes little moments of peace or relative peace I guess and uh, you know you have to take a break every now and then and fortunate for us Stalin is an idiot and decided not to push because he had us he had us right against the ropes we were just down to this one <laughs> victory location here and instead of pushing, well actually at the same time however I don't think he had a choice because I had killed so many of his men here he would, 
what probably ended up happening happening is um uh, he had to switch out to another division that had more infantry units because the other one um probably ran out uh there's like a a mound of dead bodies piled up right here there's a whole bunch of Rus russians that are dead right here and so he had no choice so um yeah i guess you know seems like a fairly smart choice but it gave us another day to breathe and to survive and that's where we are so I'm just waiting now there's no movement uh, and you know what I have a feeling that the new division that moved in here is one of these stupid ones that takes their sweet time the other one was super aggressive kept coming at me over and over again this next one might be just idiotic they haven't taken anything I'm giving it to them I'm giving them basically I don't know three-fourths of the map if not more I just want this corner right here I can have the rest but uh why aren't they doing anything? <laughs> Who's panicking? I just got a word here that Spindler is panicking. Oh, don't panic, you coward. What? I can't believe this. Uh, Spindler, the machine gunner, this guy right here is broken. He just broke. Just like that. We haven't even seen an enemy and he just decided to break all of a sudden. Oh, they took the rail station. Okay, good stuff. And they're going after the observation post. But this idiot Spindler broke. Could someone explain that to me? How do you break? <laughs> How do you go into panic mode when there's not even an enemy around? Sure, this is World War II and sure things aren't going great. But how do you just break like that? Oh, he's back. We got him. Thank you. Ooh. Looks like everyone else convinced him. And hopefully they convinced him with a gun to his head because how dare he? How dare he decide to panic just like that? Give me a break, Spindler. Come on, man. You can do better than that. That's not that's not how German people act. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, Spindler, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Come on. Grow a pair. This is war. Things happen. You have to move on. And if you break again, I will kill you myself. <laughs> I will order one of these kids to take you out. So recon vehicle BA-64B. Let me go back up here. So taken, taken. These two I'm waiting for. Especially this one. This one lets me know they're coming. You know what? I'm going to move to take up these other ones up here. Let's take that. Oh, here they come. Oh, here they come. <laughs> I might have spoken too soon. I might have spoken too soon. Okay, they're moving towards Altmoa Beat. Guys, don't you move. You hear me? 
don't you dare move I don't care how many troops you see or taking the observation post don't you dare move I swear I will shoot you myself do you understand that do you understand me okay observation post about to fall this one is imminent and where did those guys go up here in the north oh they ran right over me okay perfect they're taking out more beat don't you move don't you dare move here's my king tiger <laughs> Is this my King Tiger or is this a Panzer IV? No, I think it was... Yeah, Panzer IV. Got more beat. The fall is imminent. B-64, B-34 and some troops in here. I'm giving up Alt more beat. You guys can have it. And they're taking it in 3, 2, one and it is gone is it gone 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 come on take it <laughs> it's awesome to see them crawling and they're not stopping for anything who fired oh why did you move Oh, they're going after my scout unit. Let's get him inside the building. I hear firing. Where are they shooting? Oh, they're going after my... Oh, no! They killed my uh, scout car. I lost one scout car. And I hear more firing. Now they're going after my scouts. Stick, stay. Yes, go against the edge of the map. And they took the rails, the observation post. Stay cool, fellas. Stay cool. You're gonna make it. Thank you. Ooh. So. Well, let's look at the details there. I guess that pretty much sums it up. I lost that one vehicle, destroyed these bastards and their mortars. Ah, uh, had five killed, one incapacitated. Uh, it looks like my vehicle crew is down, and I they might have taken out some of my scouts up here. Um, other than that, pretty pretty straightforward, pretty basic. What happened there? I just want to keep these three. Well. These two are really the most important. Um, I gave them the rest of the map. Towards the end, they finally advanced. Took up this one, this one, this one. Observation post, rail station, and Altmoa beat. Uh, yeah, so that was the morning, like I said. Um, I'm fairly certain that uh, by the afternoon, the next turn on this map, they'll take these two, which I'll give them, and this one. And then we'll start the real serious business. <laughs> so that was that was okay um yeah okay so let's move this along and i'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching